Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Right. Small delay right, so we're going to just address the haggis now. So clearly I don't expect you to understand all the words. We <laughs> try and keep up. So two haggis. Fair far, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain o' the pudding race. A boon na maw ye tak your place, pains tripe and turn. Well are ye worthy, O a grace, as lang my arm. The groaning trencher there ye fill, your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, and through your pour the dew distill like amber bead. His knife sees rustic labour dight, and cuts ye up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like ony ditch. And oh, and what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Then horn from horn they'll stretch and stride, they'll tack the hindmost on they'll drive, till all their well tall kites believe are bent like drums, and all good men may like to read, be thank it. Mm. <laughs> Is there that o'er his French ragout, or oreo that would stow a sou, or fricassee that would mack or spew with perfect sconner, looks down on sneering scornful view, O sick a dinner. Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as withered rash, his spindle shank a good whip lash, his knave a knit, through bloody field and flood to dash, oh how unfit. But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clap in his wally knave a blade, he'll mack it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will snade like taps a trissel. Ye powers wa mak mankind your care, and dish them up. Your bill of fare, old Scotland wants nae skinkin wear that jops his luggies. But if you want a grateful prayer, gear a haggis. Thank you. <laughs>